Well, good Friday morning, everyone, and it's a great morning if you've been hoping for rain because we finally have at least a significant storm system moving through for the first time in what feels like an eternity. Kenton, you're about to get wet. Lima, you've been getting wet. You're in a little bit of a lull in the activity now, but there's another bit of heavy rain before this particular line moves through. And it is dry for now in western parts of the area, but you're not done with the rain. And I'm going to show you that as we zoom out here, that we do continue to see that there is still quite a bit more in the way of shower and thunderstorm activity across Indiana. And it goes back to right around Chicago. And these all have to make their way through the area. So we do expect to see at least scattered to isolated showers and thunderstorms all the way through about the noon hour today. So definitely a wet morning. We should be at least a little bit drier by the afternoon. We'll show you that in just a moment. But first, let's get a look at our current temperatures. Generally, we find them between 45 and 50 degrees. There are a few cooler spots like Upper Sandusky at 39. But elsewhere, 43 in the Defiance and Napoleon, 49 here in Lima, 50 in Bell Fountain. That's your warm spot. And elsewhere, generally 46 is 47. So not all that cold for your morning but it certainly is a bit wet. So let's get a look at our skycast and we'll see that there are these thunderstorms still at 8.30 this morning and that's a trend that continues until about noon before we see them weaken and we're just gonna be left with a mainly cloudy afternoon and temperatures in the middle 60s. As we go through the evening, these clouds will even go away for the most part. We're gonna have a few lingering clouds, especially early in the evening, but then by tomorrow morning, we're gonna be left with partly sunny skies, lows right around 40. And and then in the day tomorrow, a delightful day with mostly sunny skies and temperatures right around the upper 50s to lower 60s. And of course, it is Friday, which means that it's a Friday night football night. And the forecast for the game this evening is neither great nor terrible. The temperatures will certainly be comfortable. It'll be mostly cloudy. I can't completely rule out an isolated shower, although I think most of the rain will be done by this point. And wind should be northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. So it's a bit windy, but it shouldn't have all that much of an impact. The weekend outlook is delightful. Dry and 58 tomorrow, partly cloudy skies. And then Sunday, mostly sunny and a high of 59. So a very nice weekend. We just have to get through these showers this morning. Morning showers, afternoon clouds today, high of 66. And then for your, afternoon, your evening tonight, mainly cloudy skies early. We do begin to clear things out later with seasonable lows. Then for tomorrow, partly cloudy and much cooler with highs only in the upper 50s. Similar story for Sunday. Monday is warmer. Tuesday and Wednesday we are near record warm. And then th for Halloween, unfortunately, it does look like there could be some showers around right around trick-or-treating time as a cold front moves through and makes us much colder to begin November, Chris.